Hey guys, welcome to the life of Yumes. I appreciate every one of you guys who like subscribe to me, liked my videos, and gave it a whole lot of views. <laughs> For me, a whole lot of views is like more than five. My experience in playing Spirit of the Island, or S O T I for short. But yeah, let's get into it. So the first time I played this game, I was kind of confused. I was like, okay, there's Children of the Ocean, Legacy Story, and then there's Spirit of the Island, The Secret of the Island. So I was like, uh, are there two stories? <laughs> I don't know if, um, I don't know which one to pick. So, um, Okay, so I thought it was a single player game at first, but I read online that it's also a multiplayer game, but you have to have your friend's code and all this other stuff. I'm like, why can't they just make it simple? And if, you know, just make it, if they want to make it a multiplayer game, they should just make it like, you know how Genshin Impact is, if you guys ever played that game? It's like, like, it's like a single player game, but then you have the option to invite people to your world and you guys can help each other in boss fights and dungeons. I think that's what they're trying to go for in Spirit of the Island. So, um, yeah, but I'm gonna go with my single player because I really don't understand the whole multiplayer thing. Uh, if you guys have played um, Spirit of the Island and know how to do the multiplayer thing mode or whatever, could you guys please tell me how like in the comments because it, I don't know, I, it, it was confusing for me. And I couldn't find any other videos on how you're supposed to like invite people like how are you supposed to invite people if you don't even know their friend code or whatever yeah it is confusing so the first time i played this game uh <laughs> i was so lost i i was like okay i don't know what i'm doing um should i should i make more chests as you can see here i've made a million chests because like the game only gives you like like a few limited amount of space so i didn't have that third row when i first started i started out with like just the two rows of bag space and you can get carried away in this game you can like start like like i'll show you like you can start cutting these grass and you can just get carried away because now look at your bag space there's like seeds now and another thing i i don't get the whole farming thing i mean i have the plows here Oh, it's nighttime. Okay, so see, there's the clouds and they interact with it, but it says that the seed, uh, to plant the seeds, it has to be the appropriate season. So uh, I, I guess I don't have any seeds that are appropriate for the season. So um, I right now I, I am trying to get some ores from the mine and if you look little these little bubbles next to your hp you know where the heart is there's the one for food like hunger um thirst and your sleepy time so if the red if it's all red you have to you know eat something or drink something or else you will i don't know i i never i never fainted in this game so i have no idea 
but I have coconuts for my thirst and apples and I have this fruit salad that I made on my stove and uh, and you have to be careful why is she stuck why am I stuck ah get up there oh maybe it's because she doesn't have a flashlight oh there you go so I heard in the ancient caves you can encounter some Cave, just a cave full of rocks, boulders, and gems. And who knows what else? Giant bats, for example? Um, yeah. So, uh, so I heard that there are ghosts and other monsters in here, but I haven't encountered them yet. And my the only weapon I have is this machete. And you can see I need to make another one or repair it because, you know... I don't want a broken weapon. Um, you also encounter, I think, bees and poison in this game. So if you get poisoned, you have to have a potion or something. But I don't have a potion yet. Yeah. And uh, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you my mining. <laughs> I'm gonna mine. Yeah. Yeah. Whew, this is hard work. Ooh, I got... Oh, I don't want copper. What I'm looking for is silver or gold. So, yeah, this game reminds me a lot like Animal Crossing and um, Dating Animal Crossing. That's all I... No, because that's the only game that I play that's similar to this game. Uh, oh, there you go. So far, no gold. There's also fishing and, um, you know, becoming a miner or whatever you want to call it. And look, she's like thirsty, so I better get a coconut and I'm gonna drink. Where was I again? I hope I don't get lost. I, I get lost very easily. Uh, uh, where am I going? I have a flashlight, but I have no sense of direction. Am I going this way? Uh, is it this way? Oh, no, it's not. Do I have to go this way? But yeah, you'll have little quests that tell you where you have to go. Like, I still need to find a lighthouse. And I know where it is, it's just so far, and I'd rather have a bike or something to go there. Because if you run, uh, you're gonna be... you're gonna get tired really easily. And you gotta, you know, um, look around the island a lot. Turn off my flashlight. Hmm. Aw, oh, man, I can't swim in the ocean with the fish. <laughs> I would love to swim with the fish. Oh, well. Um, oh, yeah, and then it's really like uh, Animal Crossing because there's coconut trees. There's fruit trees, and if you interact with them, you can get... Oh, there's no coconuts. You can get coconuts. Ah, this one's empty, too. Okay, how about this one? Uh, okay, maybe I got all the coconuts and there's no more coconuts. Also, you can uh, pick up flowers and make a bouquet for the villagers. And if you don't know where to find sugar, this plant here gives you sugar, okay? And you have to get your machete and whack it. Oh, I got resin. Which one's the one with the sugar? I'm pretty sure there's sugar in here. Okay, maybe I was wrong. Oh, maybe it's this one. This one is... This one has sugar in it. Oh, what a dud. I, I'm pretty sure that I... I... 
I got sugar last time. Ugh. Lots of resins. Okay, what about this one? Uh, medicinal leaf and uh, fiber leaf. Oh, and you don't want to cut down your fruit trees or your fruit bushes. This one has cherries. Oh, see what I mean? Your bag gets full easily. Oh, darn it. Oh, well, I'll come back for you. So, yeah. And if you have water bottles, that's great. The um, empty water bottles, you can make oil out of it when you build your stove. But uh, I haven't made any yet. <laughs> I was trying to figure out how to make money like i have a thousand something dollars up there but i got it all from finding chests and opening them also you can't just open the chest that you find in the world you have to make a basic key and you make it through this workbench see all of these you can make there's a basic key I can make because I have iron igno or ignot or however you pronounce it and pack of nails and a master key can open uh, basically any chests I think and then there's also a bug net so yeah it's like an animal crossing and I got a ton of basic keys just to open up the basic chest Oh, and my house is very, very, very simple. Here's my house. I got my uh, electric table. Um, this one is to build or electronics table. <gasps> Sorry. It's to um, make electrical wire and batteries. It's for building yourself a fridge. I heard that you should make a fridge so you can put your food in there so your food doesn't spoil. My little town is called Dal Dalgona. Dalgona is really yummy. If you guys don't know what Dalgona is, you should just look it up. <laughs> it's basically a coffee froth with milk in it. With sugar and stuff. But yeah. Uh, oh, I want to plant stuff so bad, but um... I don't have the appropriate seeds for it. So, um, I hope you, uh, got the gist of this, um, this game. I am playing from my iPhone. You have to know how to use your bag space. Hmm. I forgot which one had the seeds in it. When you tap it, you can't really see, like, what it says. You have to, like, hold hold down or press down on an item, and then you can see what it's for. Yeah. Well, that's about it for this game. That's my map. And that's, um, yeah. I've only been around my... my island i haven't really been to the next island and there's a whole bunch of islands so you know to discover so uh yeah and these are this is my my pitiful looking skills <laughs> level three mining level three foraging level one exploration and level three crafting everything else is just not yeah that's sad too so thank you guys for watching and if you ever noticed all my gaming characters names is milkis my favorite korean yogurt fizzy drink <laughs> well thanks for watching see you next time bye